Hey guys, welcome back to Oblivion. We just completed the Siege on Kavach. Savlian stripped down and gave us his armor. What a brave soldier. Even though the armor is a little shit. But uh, I'm going to wear it anyways, just to kind of honor him. And now uh, let's get out of here. I think I'm just going to continue with the main mission for the next couple of quests. And I'm just going to try to get as far into the main mission as possible. And I know people don't really favor the main storyline i don't think so anyways but i'd like to get it out of the way so then i can save like all the fun stuff for afterwards and i don't have to worry about this big story quest always in the background i don't know it doesn't really make sense when now that i'm saying it out loud but trust me i just want to get the main stuff out of the way so it feels like i'm free to do whatever i want i was also told that you want to see the dark brotherhood again uh right away so as soon as I level up and get enough sneak damage to actually kill someone in one hit, which is the problem I had last time, I won't be able to do it until I level up. So whenever that happens, it'll happen. Trust me. So now we go to Wayne and Priory again. Back to, what's his name? Julian? Julius? Savlian? What's his Oh, Joffrey. Brother Joffrey. How did I forget my boy Joffrey's name? We're here! Oh, that's right, everyone's being murdered! I totally forgot about this part of the mission. Oh, game froze again. You must help. They're killing everyone at Wayne on Priory. Oh no, everyone. They're right behind me. Prior Mabril is dead. Who the fuck is Prior Mabril? Is that the guy who greeted me at when I first came here? When they attacked. Because then I really don't care about him at all. Looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers, ordinary. Suddenly, weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the prior down before he could move. They saw me watching, and I ran. Where's Joffrey? Is he safe? I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us. He's in the chapel praying while you guys are getting murdered? How the hell do these guys look like normal travelers? They shapeshifted? Because if these guys walked up, and they were like, Oh, normal travelers, welcome! Then they're fucking retarded. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to use the R word. Is this Joffrey? Oh, you're the other dude who, uh, who was following me. Martin and that dude are over there, were following me for a bit. And then they, like, randomly disappeared. Because I think I neglected the main story for too long. There's fucking sheep in this game? <gasps> That's awesome. There's no sheep in Skyrim. But I have to remember, Cyrodiil is different than Tamriel. What the fuck? Don't stare at me like that, kid. Holy cow, you're a little bug-eyed. I don't know where he is. We should check the chapel. Come on. Yes, I was already told to check the chapel. Thank you. I guess I'll follow you then. You have a cool, like, katana. You mind giving that to me? Oh, no. Prior Mabril. That was the good dude who greeted me when I first came here. I guess he was of some emotional importance to me. Not really. Oh, God, they're all in here. Who's that? Oh, it's, it's the same dude. It looked like... I don't know. They all have awesome katanas, except for Brother Martin. Whoa, the sneak, like the backstab with magic. Very nice, Brother Martin. You're back. Thank Talos. You look very peaceful, despite having the whole town be murdered. I had just time to arm my while you're sitting in here, like praying. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wayne House. We need to go see if it is safe. Okay, I'll go check on it. If it's in a secret room, then it shouldn't be found, right? Because it was insanely secret, right? You'd protected it with your life, right? And it's fucking gone. Good job, Joffrey. I knew I could trust you with the amulet. The amulet of kings is gone. The enemy has defeated us at every turn. I found Martin. He's safe. So it is not all gone against us. Tell us for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Where will he be safe? Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. But we must play for time, at least. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. We should leave at once. Perfect. Let's go right away. Because I'm trying to get out 
What I'm doing right now is recording two Oblivion episodes. I've been recording a ton of episodes just in general, so that when I don't have my recording equipment, I can still give you guys videos. So right now, I'm recording Oblivion, and I only have like 30-40 minutes left, so that's why these next two episodes are going to be a little bit shorter, but I'm still going to try to like make as much progress as possible, because I have a very short time limit here, and I need to get two more episodes out of this. So Cloud Ruler Temple. This time, I actually know that I can just fast travel to it instead of walking there, so again, insanely helpful. Also, I was told last episode that you walk faster when your weapon is sheathed, and I think someone else told me that in my old playthrough. But uh, thanks for reminding me, because obviously I did not remember. And you move very slowly in this game. I wish there was a run, but there's not. So I'll work with what I have. Now we're in the snowy mountains. This is looking a lot like Skyrim. These guys are on their horses. Brother Martin, close your legs, man. You're wearing like a skirt, pretty much. Be a little more respectful than that. How the fuck do I get in this fortress? Did I miss the main door? Oh, you know, I was just talking about how you move faster when you put your weapon away, and then I don't put my weapon away. This is the kind of high-quality content that I strive to give you guys. I definitely missed the front gate, and now I'm just walking all the way around the fortress. How genius is that? I was also just talking about my strict time limit for these next two episodes, and here I am wasting it walking around the perimeter of the building. We got another small... Well, not really small, but we got like a fortress city down there. And I don't think I've ever been there. I'm actually not even sure what it is. I guess they said Bruma, right? Okay, go inside the door. Who has the key? Martin, where are you? Martin! Did they fall because I went across the... What the fuck are you doing, Martin? That only works in Skyrim. You cannot do that over these castle walls. Open the damn door. Martin, please, you're actually triggering me right now. Fuck, okay, I'm gonna need to fast travel back here again. That just wasted a whole lot of time. I'm so glad I just did that. Alright, come on now. Martin, get your fat ass over here. Thank you, yes. What's up? Oh, okay, thanks. I see how it is. Run right past me and greet the Emperor or whatever, that's fine. Are you talking to me? Oh, good evening. Thank you for finally recognizing me. Why aren't they waiting to greet me? Joffrey, you have a badass sword. Like, he's a priest with this cool katana. And, last playthrough, I was told that you can find the Blades Armor in this place, and I found it along with the sword, I think. And it's a really good set. So, I'm definitely going to do that again, because that really helped out. Especially the Katana. The Katana's really good. Here we go. Let's all stand up here. The speech is for all three of us, not just Martin. Trust me. Yeah! Hail the Dragonborn! Woo! Shout for us! Shout for us! You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Joffrey, all of you, I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome. I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Boo! That was a shit speech, Martin. Sir. Screw the dragonborn. Screw the dragonborn. Oh shit, I'm sorry, dude. Isn't it cool that the fire in the background just totally freezes in place? When Martin speaks, even the flames around him stop and listen. Of course. The amulet of kings. 
so we, I, can take it to the What do you mean, I? He went, he started as we. Usually it's the other way around. They're like, I, oh wait, I mean, we. No. We're both doing it, Martin, together. Probably. Joffrey seems to just know everything, doesn't he? What's up, dude? Where do we go? Yeah, I'll join you, sure. It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a knight brother of the blade. Cool. And there's where I get my katana from. Thanks. However, the armor is actually in the temple itself. So let's go in. Ooh, this is a nice, warm, cozy main hall. I like it. I'm sorry that these next two episodes are going to be short. I feel bad because Day of the Tentacle episodes are really long. But that's because I recorded them the day before. Now I'm sort of like running out of time. And like, I need to just get episodes out. Okay, why am I over encumbered? I, do I really have that much armor? I guess the Imperial armor, right? And then what else do I need? I need the helmet. And that's it. I just need to find the helmet somewhere. And it's right there. And there's more katanas. I might as well grab a second one. Maybe I can dual wield katanas. Can I do that? No. However, it does six damage. So like I said, I mean, I might, I'm just going to grab another one. Ah, crap. Really? That over encumbered me? There we go. Alright, so we have a brand new set of armor, a brand new sword, we are now a member of the Blades, and, oh, hail, Captain Stefan. Don't know what you're doing up here by yourself, but I'm not gonna question it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wrap, oh, look at all the swords, can I grab all those? Oh, they're just decoration, that sucks. What if someone walked underneath here and a blade just fell and just, like, went straight through their skull? Isn't that, like, a safety hazard? Come on, guys, think about these kinds of things. Anyways, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, a horse. Okay, I need end the episode, Devin. Jesus, we're on a time limit here. So we did all that stuff, and next episode we will be moving on. I'm just going to be doing the main story for the next two episodes, so sorry if that's a bit boring. Hopefully my commentary will make up for it, make it a bit more interesting. Probably won't, though, since my commentary is shit. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.